It's Stephen Shirley back with a new Charter Challenge update. It was a wild weekend for basketball fans all over the country. The biggest upsets included UNC over Baylor, Michigan over Tennessee, and Iowa State over Wisconsin. UNC held a 25-point lead during the second half as Baylor stormed back to force overtime, making it the largest comeback in NCAA tournament history. St. Peter's continued their Cinderella story with another big win against Murray State, keeping their dreams alive. Many brackets in the new Charter Challenge were destroyed over the weekend. Caden Diaz held on to first place for about 10 minutes. The new leader in the new Charter Challenge is ESPN 027 in first, Sid Browning in second, and Mac Booker in third. We got a chance to catch up with the mysterious ESPN 027. Let's hear what they had to say. I will not reveal my identity until the new Charter Challenge is mine. The NCSN investigative reporting team have been doing their homework over the weekend. What juicy scoops will they have for us this week? We have all been following the tournament very closely this year. The drama from the games alone are enough to leave one satisfied. But we here at the NCSN wanted to dig deeper. The big story comes from the individuals who have zero points after two rounds of action. We all know Miss Easton has 16 kids, so we can excuse her. But what about our fearless leader, Dr. Blackwell? Let's hear from the bottom of the bracket. Dr. Blackwell, you are on the naughty list. We realize you did not meet the deadline to submit your tournament picks. How do you feel now about students turning in late assignments? Well, to be fair, I was having technology issues and I couldn't log in to complete my assignment. So I do still think it's important that people meet deadlines, um, but I also think it's important that we give some grace because I've got 460 points. I should be on the leaderboard. Did your dogs eat your picks? I don't have any dogs, but my children may have. I have four of those. What have you learned from all of this? I have learned that meeting deadlines is important, but also my strategy for picking my brackets was important because I based it on mascots and I'm on the leaderboard at 460 points. I should be on the leaderboard. But I understand I didn't meet the deadline and I accept. I accept that. Our next story comes from our Director of Academics at News Charter, Nikki Nowinski. After examining her bracket, we realized her team had been eliminated. Upon further review, the dirty laundry really started to fly. Check out this interview and watch the nervousness in her face as we start to ask her some really tough questions. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Spicer and I'm part of the Student News Investigation. Can I ask you a couple questions? Sure. We've been doing some research on you and we realize you're from Texas, is that correct? Yes. As we started going through your NCAA challenge picks, you realized you picked Baylor. I did. What state is Baylor from? They are from Waco, Texas. And it's true you moved from Texas to North Carolina. Yes. And you picked Baylor over UNC. I did. Is it safe to say you'd rather be in Texas right now? That's probably a good assumption. With UNC's win, can you truly say you are a true North Carolinian? Because of UNC's win? Absolutely not. They ruined my bracket. Tell me something good. Hey, I want to talk to you guys about the upcoming senior nights we have to celebrate our high school athletes. On March the 30th, we're celebrating our track seniors. On April the 25th, our high school girls soccer seniors. And then on April 26th, our high school baseball seniors. So make sure if you don't attend any other home games, make sure you attend those three. Thanks. Big shout out to Megan Broadwell for her recent Governor's School acceptance. Great job, Megan. Say it ain't so, it's four wins in a row for the Lady Cougar soccer team. Congratulations, ladies. The middle school baseball team picked up their first win of the year over Meadow this week. Great job, boys. How about that girls soccer team with a big win over Meadow? Good job, ladies. Polar Plunge 2022 News Charter is freezing for a reason. For every 25 students who pledge to freeze, we will freeze one administrator. Our goal is to have 150 staff and students pledge. Let's be all inclusive here at News Charter. 
An impromptu talent show broke out on the playground on Tuesday. The second grade kids were showing off their best moves and having some fun on the playground. Who knew that the Cougar second graders could break off moves like this? After all that hard work, it made me really want to take a stretch break. <laughs>